Welcome today to my latest order that I got here off the internet, a Charge 3. Now you would think, a Charge 3? Didn't you have a Charge 3? Yes, I do. This here is my Charge 3. Now let them be both together here. This is a JBL Charge 3. A nice, great speaker, and this is the case for it, the box. And this is the Charge 3 I got off the internet. It says Charge 3 on there. So now if we compare here. Charge 3. This has Charge 3. Portable wireless speaker. And this is portable Bluetooth speaker. This has a second language underneath. Here it says JBL by Harman. This just has the box there. This one has down here a uh, thing where it shows that you can charge your phone through the speaker. So the speaker is basically a power bank to charge your phone. This one has that too. And if I look at this, it's the exact same logo. This one here has a logo where it says 20 and then three bars down here. It says 20 and 3 bars. That's obviously 100% copied. The microphone is copied. The waterproof IPX7. It says it there, IPX7. Then it has the Connect logo. But here it says wireless. And it shows a musical note upside down. Where on the actual one, it shows the Bluetooth logo with the name Bluetooth here, what is copyrighted. On the side here I have this, there's nothing. Bottom is like that, where the original one has a lot of stuff here. On the side here it shows red. Oh, here is stuff. <laughs> the connect situation. Oh. Look at that. Charge 3, it doesn't show. Here it says JBL Connect, here it says Connect. Wirelessly link multiple Connect compatible speakers together. What? Wirelessly link multiple Connect compatible speakers together. So does it have Connect? Wirelessly link multiple JBL Connect compatible speakers together. Then here a second language. Here is a phone with a wireless symbol, and there is notes, musical notes with a wireless symbol. There is notes, and here is notes. So this logo here looks exactly the same as that. There are color differences. IPX7 waterproof, IPX7 waterproof. It has the exact 100% same logos here. Isn't that odd? This here does not show up on this side shows up on this side. It is here like set there almost the same. They here you can see the connections, there you can't. Does it have anything else in here? No. Oh. Okay, so we expect a rad speaker that then looks like somewhat like this, I guess. Let's take it out of the box and see what happens. So there is this cover over all here. That's convenient. So then you can put the proof of the copy thing going on here. You can just take it out of the way. And then you have a blank box. Let's see what's in there. The speaker and a charge cable. <laughs> and a manual. Oh. So, this material is, reminds me of something. Okay, so here's the menu, the Charge 3 menu. Too bad, I think I have one here. Don't I have an original one here? I have a Charge menu, like a JBL Charge. Uh, 
if you look at this, it's not copied at all, is it? No. Let's see, it shows a little bit on the back here, okay. This is just hilarious. You see that? So, if we look at those both pages. Is it copied? No. It's different text on there. Okay. <laughs> I bet you find other pictures too here. This one. Are those pictures the same? No. There's differences. I mean, this is just insane. <clears throat> you know, those guys here at JBL have so much work making a thing here. And then those dudes are just going to copy this. All right, so um, let's take this to the side and then let's get to the speaker and have a quick look here. <laughs> this is hilarious. So, what do we see here? This here is plastic on the side, hard plastic, where on the JBL this is like rubberized stuff. Up here, this button sticking out. Here, it's not. Look at this. So this looks smooth and nice. I know what M means. Probably W, wireless. Minus, plus, on, and the connect thing. And the play thing. Where the JBL logo is in here. There on this one is nothing. Just the hole. This looks a little bit different. This is hard plastic down here. Look, they even copied the thing here. This. Now it's not 100% identical, but very, very close. Then here it says charge three. And there, it has a charge 3. It says it a little different. But it has this line underneath here, like this one. God, I'm afraid to look in there. So the original one is hard to open. But it has those three connectors, and here the, all the approval signs. This one, oh, it's very floppy. Also hard to open, but wow. Has just here a little few things here, and then it has an SD card slot, USB, aux, and a charge thing. So it has actually has one more connection here. It can play from an SD card slot. Okay, and then last not least, the passive radiator here. That looks different. It has no logo on it. Yeah. And it looks like it's scratched here on this side, weirdly. Weirdly enough. I also feel that there is like a sticker on here, but maybe not. Is there a sticker on here? No, it's just scratched. Not sure. It looks odd though. But it's already damaged here. Odd. Let's see if I can use a little scraper and take a look here. Yeah. Odd. Doesn't seem to be a label. Just odd. Okay, let's see if it turns on. Let's put it back in this direction. Does not turn on. Now, when you guys feel the weight of this, then I can tell you also um, it weighs like half. I mean, 
There's not much in there. But it doesn't turn on. Let's see if we can charge it. So I'm going to use the original JBL charger for this. I don't know if that is going to do anything. It goes in there. LEDs don't do anything. Nothing happens. What is also very odd to me is that it feels like there is no battery in it, to be honest with you. That is odd. It feels the light. Let's see if this charges. So the light comes on, the charge light comes on, but it's very, very, extremely dim. Let me see if this works. The only reason why I try to use the original JBL charger here, oh, it works, is that my JBL cable here is longer. But so if I hold it this way, so much light here. So this LED in here is a very, very dim charging, I think. Doesn't turn on. Oh, there it does. Did you hear that noise? And then listen to this one. They copied the sound? Are you kidding me? Now, this is on Bluetooth pairing now in the moment. I see this, it's blinking brightly. Bluetooth. Let's see what it shows up. It shows up at charge three. It makes the same noise to connect. And I just need to play a song. I play this song here, Where's your version? And I play half volume because the battery was not 100% full. Charge three, this one. That's so funny. Look, it's on half volume. And this one is also on half volume. So you heard already the sound difference, and I'm going to make a, I'm going to make a comparison video between the sound of this one and this one, and then we see how that goes. Okay, so I thank you guys for watching. This was my original unboxing of a fake JBL speaker, and we see from here how that goes. I'm going to open this up in one video and we look inside to see if there's any difference.